Did you know that more than 1 million cases are diagnosed with kidney stones in every year in India? Hello everyone, I am Dr. Gaurav Garg. I am a urologist and a senior consultant in Max Smart Super Speciality Hospital, Delhi. And today I will be discussing about the common myths prevalent in our society related to the management of kidney stones. Beer helps in reducing kidney stones. Intake of beer is more worse than intake of water. Beer has a diuretic effect, it can aggravate your pain. Rather, intake of beer leads to more production of oxalates and urates in the urine, further increases the chances of kidney stone formation. So this is a total myth that intake of beer leads to reduction in the chances of kidney stones. Hydrotherapy can flush out kidney stones. Whenever the stone gets blocked in the urinary system, it produces a blockage of the urine flow in the kidney to the urine and increasing the amount of liquid intake with the help of hydrotherapy can lead to increased distension of the kidney leading to increased distension of the kidney capsule it can aggravate the pain it can aggravate the symptoms of kidney stones so this is a total myth that hydrotherapy can lead out to flushing of kidney stones in the body it is not medically recommended to practice hydrotherapy to flush out the kidney stones from the body Drinking more amount of water or liquids will lead to reduced chances of kidney stones. Increasing the intake of water or liquids is a very good habit. It can lead to many benefits to an individual. However, increasing the intake of liquids can have some disturbing effects on the urinary system. It can lead to increased production of the urine. It can lead to increased urinary urgency, having increased urinary frequency. And in elders especially, it can lead to urinary leakage also. So how to decide how much quantity of liquids is optimum for the body? To adequately decide how much quantity of liquids one has to take, one should pay heed to the thirst and one should have a check on the urine color. If the urine color is transparent or light yellow, then the water intake is optimum. If the urine color is deep yellow or brown, then one should increase the water intake or the liquid intake. So this is not a fully correct statement that an individual who is suffering from kidney stones should take 3 to 4 liters of liquids per day. Reducing the calcium intake leads to reduced chances of kidney stone formation. Rather, reducing the calcium intake in the food leads to more oxalate absorption, leading to more chances of calcium oxalate stone formation. So Calcium should be taken in moderate amount in the diet to actually reduce the chances of kidney stone formation. A restriction of fruits and vegetables with seeds leads to reduced chances of kidney stones. It is a common perception in our society that fruits and vegetables with seeds like guava, ladyfinger, tomatoes can lead to increased chances of kidney stone formation. However, it is found that seeds are not absorbed by the digestive system and actually intake of these fruits and vegetables do not lead to any medical risk of increasing kidney stones. So persons who are suffering from kidney stones should not fear much and they should take adequate quantity of fruits and vegetables in their diet. There are medicines available in the market to dissolve kidney stones. This statement is a totally myth. Uh, most stones are composed of calcium and oxalate which are very hard substances. It is not medically possible to dissolve these things with medications. Only a select proportion of kidney stones are comprised of uric acid and cysteine and there are some medications available only in very select cases kidney stones comprising of uric acid and cysteine may be amenable for medical dissolution. However, most of these cases also require surgical management. So one should not follow this myth that kidney stones can be dissolved by medicines. Don't fall for such myths. If you have any symptoms or signs related to kidney stone, consult your urologist today. He will be your best guide in managing the signs and symptoms of kidney stones. I hope you find this video informative. If you have any queries, comments or questions, kindly ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.